Yeah, this time I'm going straight for Raikou because, well, the last two times I was on the same route as it, well, it ran away after like six, seven random battles without encountering it, and that amounted to like seven minutes of footage, and that is seven minutes of absolutely nothing happening but me cursing. No, I didn't say anything interesting at all during those seven minutes, so I decided screw that. I deleted those videos, and the next time I got on the same route as Raikou, I only started recording, well, as you just saw, when the battle began. So, right now, I have already thrown a couple of uh, great balls at it without much success, but at least I managed to send it to sleep um, right in, on the first turn. So, let's try again. And you gotta love in Heart Gold and Soul Silver how, well, this music comes back, but there are slightly different instruments for each dog. That is pretty clever. I honestly did not expect that of them. But I am going to get to my full Hard Gold and Soul Silver review later on. This isn't the place or the time to talk about it. One, no! Ah! Thought maybe this would be the one. If only, if only I had Ultra Balls. And speaking of balls, apparently in Hard Gold and Soul Silver, Dust Balls are on sale in Blackthorn. That's what I've been told anyway. There were no news on Cerebi about that, so take that with a grain of salt until it's official, but I've been told that Dusk Balls are indeed on sale in Blackthorn. And is it just me, or do the legendary dogs stay asleep a lot longer than a regular Pokemon that? Whoa! I got it! I got it! I got Raikou! Team member number 5 acquired! Only Suicune is left now! But as I was about to say, it's probably because the random g number generator felt like giving me a break or something. So next time, my full take on Hard Gold and Soul Silver. Okay, so now we're starting where we left off before Hard Gold and Soul Silver's release and the legendary dog hunt. And this girl here is talking about how evolved forms learn moves more slowly. Well, if the problem isn't that they don't learn moves at all, like with stone evolutions or something, but just that they may, that they learn moves more slowly, then by all means, evolve your Pokémon. Because, well, the stat increase is there to compensate for the lack of moves to a certain extent. For example, I could have learned a Razor Leaf with the Ivysaur a lot earlier in my Red LP had I kept it as a Bulbasaur for a while longer, but then I would have sorely missed those extra stat points between the evolution and me learning Razor Leaf. So you get the idea. So this guy here is blocking the gym. Basically, I'm forced to do the whole um, Mahogany Rocket base arc before going into the gym, and after the gym, that's when the crap hits the fan and I gotta go to Goldenrod to rescue Buena! Oh, and the other saps in the radio tower, but I am going to do this mostly for Buena because, well, she's the biggest rare candy fountain in the entire series, and I just love rare candies. If you couldn't already tell by the quantity I have right now, which is over 30 now, and in the, in the pack to the right, there's a toll booth, which is an actual toll booth this time. There are rockets inside, and whenever you enter this building, they take a uh, thousand bucks from you. Even if you just wanted to head back, they don't give you a choice of yes or no. They take one, they take one thousand dollars, and then, well, you might as well uh, go forward. So now, I actually put Raikou in my party because, well, remember what I did with Zabdos in red? The first thing I did with Zabdos was give it a level ASAP in order to teach it Thunder. Well, now I already taught it Thunder via TM and Mud Slap as well. Uh, return will wait until um, I can uh, give it a return TM because I can only get one on uh, Sundays, I think. And uh, there is also the fact that for the time being, Quick Attack is probably going to be more powerful. So I'm going to stick with Quick Attack for now. So the reason why I wanted to give Raikou one level before continuing to uh, level up the rest of my team is because... Well, oh yeah! Alakazam is trying to learn Psychic! Well, bye bye Psybeam, and now I'm going to use the Elemental Punches to conserve 
my psychic PP and not the reverse. So I want to teach Raikou Spark because Thunder Shock isn't going to cut it as a reliable electric attack. I don't really want to use Thunder every time against every opponent because as you've already seen with Gengar and Lapras, it tends to miss quite a lot more than you want to. But you didn't click on this video to hear me talk about Raikou, huh? You want me to talk about Hard Gold and Soul Silver, so here we go. You know, my first thought is that it was a brilliant idea to wait until we knew just about everything before saying a word about the game, because we were teased with a couple of things that didn't really materialize. If you remember, the first thing that came out about Hard Gold and Soul Silver was Faulkner's roster, and instead of a level 7 Pidgey and a level 9 Pidgeotto, it was a level 9 Pidgey and a level 13 Pidgeotto, so everyone erupted in joy at the- No, they fixed the level curve! They fixed the level curve! But no, turns out they didn't fix the level curve. It became readily apparent when Whitney's roster was revealed and both of her Pokémon lost one level. Everyone was like, oh shit, what, are we going to have a level 45 Dragonite to fight now instead of 50? Well, it turned out to remain at 50, but they had a perfectly good reason this time to maintain that low-level curve. And I'll come back to it in a second, but the other thing we were teased with that didn't materialize was, well, there was a so-called leak of the list of move tutors that were available in the Hard Gold and Soul Silver, and among those tutors, we had not only Encore, but especially a lot of priority moves like Ice Charge, Aqua Jet, Shadow Sneak, and the biggest thing everyone noticed right away is that Belly Drum and Aqua Jet Azumarill would have become legal, and just like that, it threatened to become the next Scizor, but that didn't materialize because those tutors don't exist at all in the game. Instead, make way for Magic Coat and Tailwind and... Well, there, are a few, there were a few good ones, especially Super Fang, but I will come back to that later on as well. Now, as I've always said, there were two wishes that I had regarding Hard Gold and Soul Silver. A level curve fix, as I said, it didn't materialize, but... That level curve was implemented in Gold Silver Crystal for a very good reason. Because, well, if we had to fight like a level 64 Dragonite uh, during the fight with Lance or something, then it would have forced the the Kanto Gym Leaders to be in the 70s. So that is a bit ridiculous if you ask me. So that's why they uh, restricted the levels so much during Johto. But as it turns out, the the Kanto Gym Leaders in Gold Silver Crystal were way, way too low. It's like the, the left hand didn't talk at all to the right hand. So they actually fixed that in the, in Hard Gold and Soul Silver. The Kanto Gym Leaders are a lot stronger. They pose a serious challenge now. Well, relatively speaking, because you're not going to be finding much challenge in a Pokemon game unless you're, you're playing Mystery Dungeon 2. And that's four thunders in a row that I missed. One, that's normal. Two, it can happen sometimes. Three, but four. Well, at least I nailed this one, but four thunders in a row. Oh, man. But the other thing that I wanted uh, from this remake was uh, to fix up that crappy rendition of Kanto. And they delivered. They brought back Viridian Forest, Cerulean Cave, the Seafoam Islands. The, the, the PAL Park instead of uh, the Safari Zone, which went uh, at the end of Route 48 in uh, near Sinewood. And that's on top of the increased challenge provided by the gym leaders. And okay, so this guy here it wants my phone number. And I am going to ditch... Well, this guy here is a Bill Ass Kisser. And I've checked before doing this video and... The only trainer left on my phone book that doesn't give me um, any items is the Professor Oak uh, Ass Kisser. So I'm going to be replacing a Professor Oak Ass Kisser with a Bill Ass Kisser. Super! So I'm just going to save this video and then I will continue right on with more Hard Gold Soul Silver reviews.